we have Expressitate 2, Chapter 7, Vocabulario. Um, in the top left, we have lettuce. Go ahead and re repeat after me, please. La lechuga. La lechuga. Below that, we have a plantain or a banana. Repita. El platano. El platano. Underneath the platano, we have the pineapple. La piña. Repita. La piña. La piña. Up here, we have fresa. La fresa. It is feminine. A lot of times, if you have fresas, vas a comer con azúcar. You'll eat it with sugar. Or in a lot of um, Spanish-speaking countries, they'll have fresa con crema, um, for strawberries and cream. Underneath of that, we have la pera. Repita, la pera. And then I'm going to have you add el bistec. El bistec. I drew kind of like a T-bone. El bistec. It is, and it means steak. Steak. <clears throat> in the next one, we're going to draw some seafood. So I'm going to draw a shrimp here. Or we could draw fish. In a lot of Spanish-speaking countries, when you eat fish, um, the head is still on the fish. And the tail. So um, the word marine means having to do with the water. Mar in the Spanish language means ocean. So this food is going to start with the word mar, M-A-R-I-S-C-O-S. -S. Mariscos means seafood. Mariscos, comida del mar. Comida del mar. When you're done drawing that, we're going to, have, we're going to draw a menu. It is spelled exactly the same as English, but pronounced el menu. El menu. Masculine. You have to memorize that because you cannot tell um, by looking at it if it ends with an O or an A. El menu. Um, let's see. Then I'll have you flip over to the back side and we're going to talk about paying the bill. Pay, the verb is pagar. Pagar la cuenta. Pagar, you've had la cuenta in a previous chapter where we said, me trae la cuenta, por favor, will you bring me the bill, please? Pagar la cuenta. So if you just want to draw something along the lines of, there's a total at the bottom. Price is over here. $34. Pagar la cuenta. Um, in most Spanish speaking countries, if you want to pay your bill, you have to ask because they expect you to um, just visit with your friends at the dinner table after you're done eating. It's called sobre mesa or just chatting about the table. Um, so, pagar la cuenta would be to pay the bill. Pagar la cuenta. Next, we're going to draw two different um, liquids that you can put on um, a salad. In the country of Spain, um, olive oil is very um, a big part of their diet. If you travel to Spain, a lot of times people bring olive oil back as a souvenir. So we're going to talk about um, olive oil and vinegar. So we'll just draw kind of like a bottle. A lot of people cook with olive oil. So it's aceite de oliva, O-L-I-V-A, aceite de oliva. If you want to draw an olive on there, um, that might help you remember what it is. Aceite de oliva. Aceite de oliva. And then we'll go right below that where we put our vinegar. Um, sometimes it'll be like in a squeeze bottle. And it's just el vinagre, V-I-N-A-G-R-E. El vinagre, and a lot of times aceite y vinagre um, will be found together. V-I-N-A-G-R-E, vinagre. Okay, and the next one we're going to draw little sandwiches. Little sandwiches that you eat with your boca. So they're called a bocadillo. Bocadillo, little sandwiches, kind of like appetizers. Bocadillos. If you go to Spain, they'll have a lot of places that have tapas. Tapas, which are um, just little appetizers for the most part. Draw one of 
those little oops sticks in it like one of those fancy little toothpicks you know bocadillo b o c a d i l l o class i repeat it while you're drawing bocadillo bocadillo um which is a little sandwich after bocadillos we're going to draw flan flan is a dirt dessert um that you can get at most um mexican restaurants the word in english and the word in spanish is the same thing but what you do is you you bake it in a dish and everything caramelizes on the bottom so then when you flip it over it's the shape of the pan and then it's all caramely on the top um when I was working at a school with a lot of native speakers, sometimes for their birthday, they would bring choco flan. So here's our kind of caramelized flan. El flan, F-L-A-N, el flan. And it's a dessert. They used to have it at the Mexican restaurant, then it went away for a while, and then um, it was back. So I don't know if it's on the menu right now or not. El flan. F L A N L Flan. There will be more words that we're going to add. Um, we'll be talking about coffee and tea. So let's go ahead and add um, El Te. So go ahead and draw a little mug. But there's going to be a little tag hanging out of it because it's tea. El Te. Te. If you'd like to add sugar with your tea, you can say te con azúcar, or te dulce would be sweet tea. El te. You already know that coffee is el café. El café. So then we're going to draw some garlic. This is a clove of garlic. El ajo. El ajo is garlic. And then we're going to draw a bowl of noodles. And those are Los Fideos. So you can go ahead and finish up any of your drawings that you didn't um, get done since I kind of went through relatively quick. But that is what our um, picture dictionary will begin with and we'll be adding some more vocabulary to beef that up. So go ahead and put those into the picture dictionary section of your binder. Um, it wouldn't hurt to go over and pronounce those words with your neighbor again just to work on your pronunciation. And have a great day.